Hello, my friends. I am super excited today because it's going to be only you and me. We're going to be talking about the top five artistic certifications in demand for 2021 and 2022. So get your notes ready and let's go. Guys, whatever your reasons are, if you want to get certified in skills that you already have, or skills that you would like to put to use in your career, we know that certifications are a great way to make your resume more compelling. And of course, set yourself apart from other candidates in a job search. We know that certifications can validate your IT skills and experience and show to the employers that you can succeed in your career, that you can make the job done. A very interesting fact the 2021 IT Seller Report from Robert Half, you can check on the description below, shows that those that can hold those certifications that we're going to be talking a bit can earn from 5 to 10% more than their peers. Very interesting, right? So, the first certifications that we're going to be talking today is the AWS Certified Solutions Architect, the professional level. We know that AWS offers a long list of certifications that you can pursue, but the solutions architects, the professional level, is by far the best and the most popular one when you're talking about cloud computing. We also know that AWS is widely used from companies that are small to large companies. So if your company is already using AWS or planning to do so in the future, for sure, this is a very good path for you to follow. And as all the course certifications, this one is not an exception. You need to have hands-on experience to be able to pass the exam. Because this exam is a, is, is a tough one. And it's not going to only prove that you can design and deploy scalable systems. But you need to show that you can keep it cost-effective without sacrificing security, reliability, and quality. So only those that has hands-on experience would be able to pass this exam. And according to Payscale, the average annual salary for those who hold these certifications can reach 132K per year. So this is a very good incentive for you to start studying for these certifications. The second certification is also related to cloud, but we're going to add security to it. It's the CCSP, the Cl Certified Cloud Security Professional Certification offered by the ISC Square. This certification proves and shows your ability to design, manage, and secure data applications and infrastructure in the cloud. It is a massive test but an amazing one because it covers cloud concepts, architecture, design, security, risk and compliance. I'm sure you're going to love to go into this journey to, to get this certification. And do you know what is the average annual salary for those who hold this certification? Almost $120 per year. It's a good incentive, right? The third certification that I would like to bring to this discussion is the CDPSE, the Certified Data Privacy Solutions Engineer Certification, offered through ISACA. It's not, a, it's not hard to understand that cloud computing and security are the big trends that everyone is talking today. And of course, when you're talking about security, you need to consider data privacy. And I start to create this very, very structured exam to demonstrate that you have the skills to navigate this increasing complexity when you're talking about data privacy, of course. And as I said, don't take this lightly because even if it's a new exam, a new certification, this is a massive one. For if you want to pursue this certification, if you want to qualify to take the exam, you need to show that you have at least five years of experience when you're talking about privacy, governance, and architecture. 
Of course, there is different requirements if you hold another ISACA certification. This, this can uh, decrease to three years, but even though you need to show a lot of experience to be able to qualify and take this exam. And as I said, guys, consider this is a very new certification. I couldn't find any study related to the average annual salary. But keep your eyes on this one because in the very, very near future, it's going to be highly demanded for sure. Guys, the fourth certification is the one that I love. It is because I hold this certification. It's the CISP, the Certified Information System Security Professional Certification, another certification offered by the ISC Square. Guys, if you want to check some tips on how to pass the certification, I'm going to leave the link over here, okay? This is another massive certification that requires that you have more than five years of experience dealing with security. Of course, it depends on your degree. They can decrease this work experience to four years. But even though to answer 150 questions within three hours, it's something very interesting to do. And as I said, this is a so wide certification with so many topics because you're going to need to understand about risk management, asset security, security operations, physical security, software security. It's a long list. You're going to have eight different domains that you're going to need to understand fully to be able to pass the exam. But do you know what is the average annual salary for those who hold the certification? One. 18k dollars per year so another very good incentive for you to pursue this certification one thing that i like about all these certifications that we have been talking to is that you need to show you need to prove work experience to be able to qualify to take these, these certifications we know that there's a lot of discussions some people trust on certifications some people don't just because some people feel that certification doesn't prove that you have that skill right what we can consider this is one way to prove we have more ways to do that but at least these series certifications requires that you have some work experience to be able to qualify to take this experience those are the ones that i call the series certifications certifications that work for you to and the fifth and last one that I would like to bring to the table today is no different than that. And finally, this is something not related directly with cloud computing and security. is the PMP certification, offered, of course, by the PMI organization. This certification has been there for many, many, many years. And the only reason why it is still relevant is because PMI has been doing like a great job to keep it relevant to this industry. And of course, this one is focused for the project uh, managers professions. So you're gonna be seeing, of course, you understand fully all the project life cycle. We do have a, a from PMI another certification related to agile projects, but I would like to focus on the PMP today because it was relevant in the past, it, it is relevant in the, in the present, and it's gonna re continue to be relevant in the future because the more and more the industry need good project managers within their organizations. Guys, those are the five certifications that I would like to bring to this discussion today that is highly demanded for 2021 and 2022. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you do so, please hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any videos in the future. And of course, I would love to hear your thoughts on those five certifications. And if you think that I missed or if you have a different top five, please write in the comment section below. I would love to engage with you in a conversation in the near future. Thank you very much. See you next Wednesday.